Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to solve uh, walk through this uh, legal problem, uh, du duplicate number. So this question was asked by um, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and other big companies. Uh, let's dive in. Given an array of integer numbers, nums, containing uh, n plus 1 integers, where each integer is in a range of between 1 and 0, uh, 1 and n, including and there is one and only one repeated number in nums. We turn this repeated number and we must solve this problem without modify the array and use only constant actual space. So this is where the challenge it is. Because if we don't have this constraint, we can just look back to the look back to the, the number that we have been seeing. When we scan through the array, and then when we come across the next one that is already in the scene set, and we can return that is that's as easy as that if they, we don't have this constraint. So um, let's look at some example in here. One three four two two. So the repeat number is two. So when we scan through this array, and if we can use a uh, linear extra space, we can have the scene set. So when, when we come across these numbers, we put the number in the scene set. And if that number is already in, has been seen previously, and that is the duplicate number. Um, so if we allow to use actual space, um, linear actual space, then this is as simple as that. And this, this can work actually, but this does not meet the requirement because we can, we are only allowed to use constant Actual space. So the way to do that is to use, uh, use a, um, a binary search. So basically, uh, we count how many numbers is smaller than itself. If the number, the amount of numbers that is smaller itself is bigger than the number itself, and that will be a duplicate number. So let's walk through an example. Uh, in this example, it's one three four two two. Okay, and for this number, the numbers that is smaller than itself, smaller or equal to it and itself, will be one, right? And then we can call it. So this is the numbers, and this is the count. Okay, and for this number. The amount of number is smaller than itself will be one, smaller than or equal to. Okay, so it will be one, three, two, and two. So the number that's smaller than or equal to itself will be four. Okay. And for this guy, all the number is smaller than or equal to itself. So it will be five. Okay. And for the, this number two, the number that is all equal to itself will be this number, this number, and itself. So three. And same for this one. Sorry, uh, not three. One, two, three, four, three, four. And this one is the same. So as you can see, the smallest number that has a count that is a bigger than itself will be four. Uh, I mean, this one is always, it's also uh, the count is four because the number that's smaller itself will be smaller than or equal to itself will be one, three, and two, and two. But the smallest guy will be two. So that is the repeated number. And we can scan through it two times, right? And we have a double for loop and have that number and then scan through the rest. And that will be taking, uh, B of n square runtime. That will be a bit slow. So, uh, the way the fastest approach will be, uh, use a binary search approach. Uh, let's do that. And feel free to pause the video here and then try to implement itself. Because basically, we know the range of all the possible number between one and n inclusive. 
and then we just scan through all the possible number to see how many numbers is smaller than or equal to itself. And then we find the smallest, so basically find the smallest number that with the property that the count is bigger than itself. Okay. Let's dive into the implementation right now. So for uh, binary search, we need a uh, left pointer and a right pointer to start. So okay. Um, So we have that. So while the left pointer is less than or equal to the right pointer, we do the we look at the current number, which is the all the possible number. Sorry, that is actually not an index. It is a uh, it's a number itself. So the lower number will be the lowest number will be one, and the biggest number will be the length of the of the number because we are given this. And the current number we're looking at is the, the smallest number and the biggest number and take the middle of it. So that's the current. And next we do the count. And next we do the count smaller or equal to. Okay. And we neutralize the counter to S0. And for all the numbers in the number set, a numbers list, if the number is less than or equal to the current number we're looking at, we add it to uh, the counter, okay? As simple as that. So, uh, time complexity in here, because we're just scan through the entire list, so it's gonna be a bigger way. So, if the counter, uh, that counts how many smallest number or equal to it, uh, that is greater than the number itself, that means we have already found a uh, repeating number. So essentially that is this case or this case, okay? Either now we found, um, in this case it's gonna be three first. And then we have to narrow it down to a smallest number by, we can do that by um, just decrease the right pointer by uh, the current number minus one. Otherwise, we increase the left pointer. We look at, we search for the bigger guys. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And let's return uh, the repeated number at the end. Okay. Let's run that. So as you can see, it works. And uh, I have to fix a little small typo in here. It should be plus equal to one. Um, so for time complexity, it's going to be uh, n log n. So this outer loop, as you can see in the explanation in here, the outer loop uh, binary search takes uh, log n time for the searching, and for um, for each of the candidate, it takes um, b of n to find a count. Okay, so that's in total is uh, n log n time, space complexity, and this is where the challenge was. So it's gonna be b of one. Uh, because we didn't use any, any extra variables other than the left pointer and the right. So this is my solution. I hope you enjoyed it and find this helpful. If it is, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.